Hey, I'm Carboot Chris. I'm a full-time UK online reseller. I operate mainly on eBay and also Whatnot, but also some other platforms as well. I'm going to bring you regular podcasts all about reselling, hopefully to keep your company, to entertain, or maybe to educate. Who knows? Welcome to the Everything Reselling Podcast. The things that we had when we were kids or when we were younger back in the day um, that we wish we'd have kept on to, either just to keep because those are the things that we look for now out in the field or things that we, you know, we, we'd make big money on now. Um, so put in the chat, like just pick like one or two things that you remember from years ago that you had that you had as a child or whatever, and you wish you still had it now because it was so amazing, so cool, so nostalgic, and put it in the chat and let's hear what you had as a child that is that you wish you had now. I'll, whilst we're waiting for some answers, I'll give you a few of mine. Well, as the, um, the thumbnail showed, the He-Man castle, um, I had that, the big plastic... Um, castle with loads of he-man figures uh what else did i i wish you know i wish i'd have kept all that Oliver said he's thundercats figures Thunder, Thunder, thundercats. Thundercats. Oh. Uh, yeah there you go thundercats figures something else i had was um i had all the all the consoles obviously that's an easy one you know i had an atari 2600 well it's my brother's really but you know it kind of got passed to me um i had a master system mega drive and something that I did I did have for, and I only had it for 24 hours as a child. Um, oh, it's, was it early 90s? Um, I had an Atari Lynx, and I only had it for 24 hours, babe. You know why? Why? Here's the story, right? I really saved up hard, my paper money and all that stuff. I saved up for the Atari Lynx because it looked amazing on the adverts, right? And, um, and when I'm, I went to Argos did the old six-digit number, ordered it, bought it, got it home, and I was so disappointed with the Atari Lynx. I thought it was crap. The games were really <laughs> poor. And um, I said to my mum, will you take it back and get my money back? And uh, I made my mum go back to Argos <laughs> and take it back. And you know what she said? She said that somebody else had also bought one for him. So he got a duplicate. You know that <laughs> that old excuse. Oh yeah, somebody bought two for it. Someone bought two Atari Lynxes. Anyway, she got money back, and obviously I spent the money on something else. But I was so disappointed with the Atari Lynx so when I got it. It's not a nostalgic game, then. So that's completely Is opposite it? to no. what we're discussing. It's freaking amazing. Now you find an Atari Lynx at a boot sale, you'd be skipping all the way home. Well, Kev Smith said he's micro machines and my Pokemon cards. Ah, Kev, Kev. I've got written down on my list micro machines. I love micro machines. I used to go to Toys R Us, uh, Toy and Hobby. Remember Toy and Hobby? There was a Toy and Hobby in Stockport. Mm. Um, I used to love going and, and getting micro machines, like little packs, uh, like blister packs with about sort of five cars in it. Um, oh, I wish I'd have kept all them and not opened them, but <laughs> no chance of that. Kathy says I want my original game and watch games back My and my old pet monster. Uh, Thundercats figures again from Tap Peddler. Jilly B said Britain's farm toys still have them though. Oh, you still have them? That's that's all right. That's good. Yeah. Dippy Moons, my old rave tapes in music ah, is now you see, poo. It doesn't have to be, uh, I'm not talking just about toys because that's the obvious one, isn't it? I mean, it can be anything. And I've got an example of something else in a minute that I had when I was younger, not as a child, but when I was younger that I wish I had now. Um, uh, plush lady says my Polly Pocket collection. Oh, Polly, Polly Pockets Pocket. go for so much money now. Yeah. Even if they're not complete, they are so sought after. I had a big bundle of Polly Pockets, and they just flew out. Yeah. It just flew out the door. Deborah says clackers. Oh, I don't know what that is. Is that the thing where you shake them and they oh, clack those? together? Is that a clacker? Walkmans. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, at, I've got one here. There's one. That's the one I got the other week. Look, it's working. It fully works. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I've kept this on my shelf. And it's along, it goes alongside me. Eric wanted to Game use Boy. it. Eric wanted to use it the other day, didn't he? My nephew. And uh, But we haven't got any headphones for it yet. 
Um, Nick, uh, online outlet says all my Star Wars figures and vehicles. Mm. The original stuff, yeah. Nicky New says original 1980s cabbage pat dolls. Didn't you have some of them recently? Did I've you had buy some. them from when we was in Florida. Bought one in Florida, yeah. yeah. Joan said I had a toy garage with a lift and ramp and corgi toy cars. I think I know which garage you're talking about. Is that one with a windy lift? Roundy leg? thing, yeah. Yeah, I think I have one of those. Uh, Cherry says my yellow Game Boy with camera. Mm. Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Pokemon. Mm. Rachel Nash's Carrie and Christopher dolls on Womble's China tea sets. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Fix it, said so they had all the Resident Evil and Silent Hill games on PlayStation. Nice, lovely. Greg says his Commodore 64. Commodore I remember 64. Chucky Egg. Chucky Egg on Commodore 64. I used to love that game. Uh, Jeff says the original Pong TV computer game. Lisa says Connect's Orange Box. Never really, I could never really get into Connect. Jason says, I wish I still had my Astro Wars and Munchman electronic games. Yeah, those little electronic games, yeah. <laughs> Secret Carper, I wish I had my skinny body. <laughs> 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 Only cool stuff. Hi, it would be, it would have would have to be my chipped Sega Saturn. A chip Sega Saturn. And all the expensive import Japanese Saturn games. <laughs> nice. I never heard of someone having a chip Sega Saturn. Did anyone have a I had a chipped um I had a chipped PlayStation One. Um that could that could play sort of games that uh, that had been copied in a in a CD writer or something. Yeah, that was chipped. I know the boys had something, but it was one of the handheld ones that they had chipped. Uh, Flogs and Tug says, "I wish I still had my Dragon 64." What's a Dragon 64? I'm not sure actually. Flogs and Tugs, I'm not sure. Oliver Ian says, "All the consoles, you must have been rich." I never had them all at once, Oliver Ian, and I always saved up for them because. I had an I had an Atari two six hundred, but that was my brother's, and then got passed to me. Master System, I bought I bought myself. Mega Drive, I bought myself, all with paper round money that I'd saved up, and then bought them on the catalogue that my dad did, <laughs> and paid like three pound a week. A pound of that was interest, and my, <laughs> it and, was my, as well. and my dad was pocketing like his percentage <laughs> and all. He was running a book. He was like every Saturday morning, he'd be like Chris. You got your catalogue money? <laughs> three pound. <laughs> Fucking three pound. But yeah, everything I ever had gaming wise was bought by myself and I never had more than one thing at a time. I always sold one and bought the next one. Uh, the monkey fish said Thunderbirds and Batman toys from the 60s. Cool. Yeah. Silver Wolf says, I wish I kept my OG Pokemon cards. I have Flying Pikachu and Birthday Pikachu. That means nothing to me other than the word Pikachu because I don't know really anything about Pokemon, but I believe what you're saying, they would have been good. Fix It says, I had the Woody Atari. Yeah, I had the Woody. The 2600, that was. Lisa says, I still have the Mega Drive 2. Yeah. The, the Mega Drive 2 is always a little bit disappointing because the design of it was so crap. The Mega Drive 1 had a really distinctive design. When they did the Mega Drive 2, it was a bit crap, wasn't it? Neil says Philips CDI player. <laughs> yeah, I had, a, I had a CD. I think he's just reminded me about the CDI. <laughs> yeah, I had a CDI. Um, and I've got one here as well, NJ. Yeah. Got a CDI here, which uh, I use for testing purposes. <laughs> Johnny John says, Panini football sticker album from the late 70s, early 80s. Good shout. Lionel says, Spectrum 48K and a wind-up Smash Alien. A lot of people wishing they had these old consoles, aren't they? This is the main yeah. thing that's coming through. Only cool says, oh, and my AGA Amiga 1200. Amiga 1200. I had a, I had a uh, 600. Um, sensible World of Soccer. Best game in the world. <laughs> Spent hours on that. Pete's Toys and Tinks has been collecting since after COVID. Still, I still had my original toys. Brilliant. That is cool. One Sub Treasure says, I had a massive 70s and 80s Star Wars collection, had two big bags of figures at my back door one night, and the bin men thought it was rubbish and took them away. Ah, no. Hang on a minute. One Sub, what the, what the hell were you doing putting two big bags of toys at your back door? Are you mad? Unlucky. You'd be absolutely gutted, wouldn't you? You would. Uh, TCR racetrack that's worth a lot now. They'd fix it for reselling. 
uh, Steel Wolf, um, my G.I. Joe and my B.M. I sold whole collection in 2008, the car boot, for 30 oh. quid. Mask toy. Loved mask. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Uh, Peter Ray said a lot of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures. Sharks. Street, Street Sharks. Street Sharks. Original Pokemon. Do you know what? I'm reading some of this stuff thinking, you guys must be so young because I'm associating some of this stuff with what I bought my boys. Well, yeah. Not what I had. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I bought the boys out. I bought the boys out. Well, Peter Ray is just a spring chicken, isn't he? Yeah. Tazos and Pogs, mm. things like that. The boys have them. Uh, lots of My Little Ponies and some velvet pedal pushers my mum made. She also made me a rara skirt. Do you know what I used to love? And I I did have one of the bears, the Wuzzles. Oh, yeah. Oh, I used to love the Wuzzles. And we've had some recently, mm. haven't we? And they sold really quickly. Oh, yeah. They so sold very quick. really quick. Because there's clearly plenty of wuzzle nostalgia people out there. Woo Woo says Commodore 64 out of my brother's loft recently. Nice. Olivier and it was an Atari Lynx. What were you expecting? Yeah, but I mean, in theory, you think when it come out, you think in state-of-the-art technology, but I felt that the Atari Lynx was... I remember getting it that day, being dead excited and switching it on and playing some... I think, I, I think the game I had with it was Hard Driving, and it was hard driving. <laughs> it was crap. And I wished, and but I didn't go and buy one. I wished I'd have gone for the Game Gear, the Sega Game Gear instead. And I don't know what I did with my money when I got it back, but I, but I was so disappointed. What computer system was Road Rash on? I used to love that game. Um, where you could kick people off the bikes. Master System and Mega Drive. I, I think I think it was Road Rash game. predominantly Mega Drive um, mm. sort of. Era, yeah, a good game that, yeah. Um, Thumbelina says Lin Lin. Oh, yeah, baby Thumbelina. Atari Lynx was 16 bit way ahead of its time, but sadly, game support lacking. Yeah, the games were really bad, Derek. The like, I remember that hard driving. Do you remember the, the hard driving one? And it was kind of like you're on like a like a test track type thing. And it was so blocky. It was awful. <laughs> uh, Nikki New said, full bind of original Pokemon cards worth a fortune now. Lou says, 1968, Wolseley 1960 car we had in the early 80s and paid £20. As owner said, gearbox was gone. Was a rubber washer needed replacing? Wish we had never sold it. That's a good point about the cars. Because you remember some of the 80s cars? Um you know, they're very sought after now. I remember, right, my dad's, one of my dad's older cars having an 8-track player in it. Mm. I bet if you found a car now with an 8-track player in it, that'd be worth a fortune. Well, only only if it was kept in pristine condition. Yeah. You know, if you garaged it and looked after it. But, you know, mm -hmm. I, I had a, my first car was a, a Maestro. Um wasn't in great condition. I had a hole in the roof, so like when I'm, whenever it rained, I used to get wet in the, in the front seat. I had a wet seat, so that was no good. See, there's also things that I found nostalgic, but don't hold value because eight tracks aren't worth anything either. Well, but I'm I'm very sort of. I remember having one. We had one in the house. No, eight eight tracks are worth something if it's a decent artist or a rare eight tracks, but. You see a lot of eight tracks at the boot sales. I've I've seen loads, and most of what you see is worthless. Mm. But if you were to find some what of the, the players, because Jenny, my sister's still got an eight track player in the in the yeah, box. probably got some good value, you know. But a lot of the, if you find some of the well known artists and the more sought after stuff, what about the Wombles? Because I remember having a Wombles eight track. Do you reckon that'd be worth something? Let's have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I would wager it's worth something. The Wombles. Wombles. I remember the last time we mentioned the Wombles. I think it was Santa who got back in touch and was like, who are the Wombles? I've never heard of them. <laughs> I know. What? I was like, go Google. It's, was, an, it's a British it, thing, though, it isn't it? It was either Santa or Jason C. Smith. It was one of them. We've gone back and it was like, what are the Wombles? <laughs> I was like, they're amazing. They sing. All right, guys, if you ever see the Wombles at the boot sale, just don't leave it. <laughs> Not worth it. Less than a tenner. 
unless uh, there's always a rider to something like that. If you see something new and sealed like that, yeah. I would say that's different. That's a different kettle of fish. I would then pick it up. Fletch one says Triange Johnny Astro Space Toy. I don't know what that is. No. You won't know what it is, but I want <laughs> one. <laughs> I have to pay eighty pound plus on eBay. Yeah, I was going to say I don't know what that is. Uh... Barco Battler was awful. I did not understand a thing about how that worked, Steve. <laughs> I had one of them. Do you remember the advert, Steve, for Barco Battler? They made it look amazing. Like you, you cut out, you cut out barcodes mm -hmm. from all your different stuff in the house, like, uh, like cereal boxes and stuff. You cut out the barcodes and then you swiped it, and it gives you some kind of uh, like code Power up. <laughs> that that give you that you battle against. Some, I did right. I did not have a clue how that thing works, how you even played it. And I've picked up one of them since, Steve. Do you remember, like, not that long ago, I, I had one of those. And, you know, you can see them. You do see them at the boot sales. They're not really worth anything unless it's, like, mint sealed or something like that. And I, I tried again. I read through the instructions, and I still could not figure out <laughs> how it worked. I'm 44 years old. I like to think I've got a tiny bit of intelligence. <laughs> But I had no clue how that worked whatsoever. But I remember at the time, at the time, I used to cut out all the barcodes from stuff. And my mum would be going around the house and she'd find all her boxes with little barcodes <laughs> little, cut out. Little holes everywhere. <laughs> GT said, my ghost castle. Jones, oh, the Cadbury miniature Jones chocolate castle. vending machines. Oh, yeah. I had one of them. Oh, with the little bars. You, yeah. can't, you can't buy them bars anymore, can yeah, you? Yeah, that was amazing. They were good then. Uh, G.I. Joe collection in 18 sold it all for 30 quid at a boot sale. Uh, the Dave says my Boglins collection. Oh, yeah, so Boglins remember were them good. little finger monsters? Yeah, you used to have those at these little jelly things. You used to see yeah. On your yeah, I remember those. Uh, the swimming bear says, uh, my 80s Walkmans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, had a load of games and watches. Secret Cap says, wish I kept my Sabutio set, had the stadium and floodlights were amazing. Oh, that's a good point. Once Love talks about their 80s and 90s band t-shirts. Yeah, they're mm. worth good money. Remember all the t-shirts we had as kids? Like, all single stitches, you know, with cartoons and stuff on the front, with bands. You know, they're all worth good money now, aren't they? Does anyone remember Zodi at the toy shop in the 80s? No, don't remember that. that. Aaron says, I had something called a talk boy. Absolute yeah. classic item. Home Alone. It's in Home Alone. The thing Kevin yeah. talks into and records. Worth, ama worth amazing money now, those. Yeah. Great money. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, I never got into that, just like Pokemon. I Matt sells stuff. I Matt sells stuff. Flipping L Thundercat sword that had light up eye on the Yeah, I know that. I know exactly the one yeah. you're talking about. Kev Smith said, my sister had a load of Sylvanian families all boxed in seals. They got rid of them when she left home. Well, strangely enough, my sister, only a, probably I'd say, I'd probably say maybe within the last five to ten years, my niece actually decided she wanted to have Sylvanian families and my sister went on this mad rampage trying to find, because it's obviously quite expensive to buy now, and she bought her all this massive collection which lasted about ten minutes and then she got bored and got rid of it all again. <laughs> Z says, I wish um, I kept my 32 waist. Shell suits and sports bags, yeah. shell suits. Naf Naf coach, remember those? Uh, my naf, naf. The first pair of trainers, because I didn't, I wasn't well off. If you've not seen, I'm not sat here going, I had every computer under the planet because I didn't have much as a child. We were very limited with what we got. But the very first pair of actual name trainers, my brother bought me when he first started working because he's quite a bit older than me. And he bought me a pair of Reebok pump. Yeah, I had a pair of Reebok With pump. the little ball on yeah. the front that you used to press to pump up. And you know what? I still remember the feeling I got having this brand new spanking pair of white Reebok pump trainers. It was amazing. Yeah, they were great. And they're still worth good money now if you get those <laughs> 80s, 90s ones. 90s mainly, I think. Um, Lou says we had an original Atari and a heap of games, gave them to a local family that are a bit strapped. Their kids smashed it up. Oh, oh. lovely. Night's Life has joined us. Hello. Oh, Night's Life. Jamie V said I wanted a Cindy caravan for Christmas one year. My dad made me a wooden gypsy style caravan a few years later. I gave it to the young girl that lived down the road from me. Wish I hadn't. Oh, but it was a nice thing to do at the time, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, the gatekeeper board. Oh, you mean um, Atmosphere? 
Oh, I remember. Mean Atmos. atmosphere. You maggot! <laughs> remember that? He used to call you maggots. It was hilarious. <laughs> you! <laughs> you little maggot! <laughs> John says, puppy in my pockets. Yeah. Pound. Do you remember the pound puppies? Mm. Pound puppies. I used to mm. love them. Um, my grifter, grifter bike. bike. Don't know what that is. Uh, I did have a chopper. Well, I don't think it was. I've my got a. Chopper. I had a chopper as well. <laughs> I don't think it was mine. I think it was maybe somebody, one of the other family members, and it got passed down to me. But I did get one eventually. Uh, swimming bear N sixty four with Zelda. That's a classic, isn't it? Can you know what though? I never. I was never an N sixty four person. I never during any of my gaming time, which was really, you know, I had lots of consoles, but I never had an N sixty four. There you go. Kimmy Kitty says, regrets a few. My key keepers, Care Bear, Sylvanians, Polly Pockets, Boglins, my Amstrad, Game Boy. Yeah, all sorts. Uh, and Guzzy uh, says, my 1983 Motorhead gig T-shirt, which ended up being my lucky shirt, wore it passing my bike test in 86 and car test in 92 and sold it on eBay. Oh, uh, Deborah says, she's got Polly Pockets in the garage. Get them listed. Oh my god, they'll be worth a oh, yes, and if, very nice. If you've got all the bits to them, yeah, quids in. Del Boy says, My rally chopper with a ball breaker gear stick. Cherry says, Game Boy Color had a photo printer attached. Yeah, it was terrible, that wasn't it? But... See, this is what I mean. Game Boys, my boys have literally had we had this conversation, didn't we? My get my my boys were at the age when when the Game Boys came in, they've had like all the Game Boys all the way through. I don't remember having anything like that. Do I you remember? Playing. I was just thinking then, right? Um, we'll wrap this chat up, up in a minute and we'll carry on. Um, but do you remember? I I had these balls. Don't go there. Right? <laughs> I was going to say, if you haven't got them now, then I'm a bit concerned. I had these rubber balls, right, That's which had... Dancing back to me. Which had all, like, monster faces and stuff on them. Do you remember those? I... I can't remember what they were called, but they were like they were like a tennis ball size made of rubber, and they had like all these monster faces and like slime coming out. Not actual slime, but sort of or melted sort of like faces like that on them. Do you remember what they were? Because I re distinctly remember having those. We Weeble wobbles. I remember them. Weeble wobbles. They were called. And Jilly says Major Morgan. That's the calculator thing, isn't it? Who remembers the music toys from Happy Meals? I don't really remember those. Uh, Kev had a chipped copy of GTA on the PS1. Angela says, oh my God, look, Chuckle, Chuckle Egg MX, MSX computer. And Steve says, I still got a chipped PS1. <laughs> we need to catch up with the chat, babe. Are I'm going to have. Are we really behind? We're way behind here. Um, obviously, okay. it is a, a great topic to talk about. Just before you go, the thing that I was going to talk about. Um, that I had not as a child, but do you, you know that I had a gaming shop when I was in sort of early 2000s, 2001, 2003, I had a game shop. And when I had that shop, um, you used to be able to um, go to a company that would provide you with all your um, all your different games posters, big posters for your shops and big stand ups. Like, you know, the cardboard standees mm. that you can put in your window and stuff, like point-of-sale stuff. You could get all your point-of-sale stuff. It didn't cost a penny. Or The only thing I had to pay for was the shipping, right? And I used to order loads of stuff. I'd have Tomb Raider stand-ups, uh, all the games that were coming out, like Turok with the big dinosaur head on it, um, loads of posters. Um, and I wish I'd have kept some of those. I used to, sometimes I'd give them away to customers when I'd fi finish with them. Or sometimes I'd put a price on them, like £10 for a stand-up. Or I'd do like posters, three for a pound. But some of those original stand-ups and Game Boy po um, game posters now were for fortune. I used to get them for free. Well, we paid a fort We paid quite a bit. Remember when we got them for the boys? And because we had two big stand-ups in the house, we had a Batman one for Kieran. And we had a mm. Sheldon out of mm. um, Big Bang Theory. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like this one that Jason said. Jason said, I used I, I used to love the what the 80s water games. 
where you press the buttons at the bottom to move the rings around to get them onto the winning slots. You had to keep oh, yeah. pressing the buttons yeah, to things. pump them up. Yeah. They were so much fun. Yeah, for about five seconds. No, they were fun. Uh, Helen said, I wish I still had my record collection from the 70s. Went missing on a house move. Oh, no. Uh, let's let's scan through. I'm going to just scan through and pick out That's a few right, more I'm gonna, comments. I'm going to pick out some of the different ones. How much was your paper round? I had two paper rounds. I used to get up in the morning and do one and do an evening one as well. Spirograph and etch a sketch. Yeah, we had those. Etch a sketch. George's Treasure Shed had a yellow Game Boy Color, which I still have now. Crystal Xbox. Yeah, they're worth a bit Once of money. Once Love said he'd been playing with a Star Wars figure in the garden. That's why they got. That's why they got taken. Mega Drive and Mega CD. That's unusual to find now. Andy Incognito still has his nineties Legos from childhood. Wow. Master System with Alex the Kid built in. Yep. Alex the Kid on Master System is the only game that I can ever recall completing start to finish. Used to love that. Echo the Dolphin. That's a classic. Oh, God, we are. We're like 20 minutes behind. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to whiz through now. Jesus I'm just, Christ, I didn't realise how far behind we were. I'm just going to pick a few of your comments. Thanks for everybody for making comments. I'm it... only just up to like an answer to the wuzzles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to whiz through. Um... At least everyone's been able to read each other's comments and what they've yeah, all had. Yeah, yeah. Still got all my childhood Lego. Wow. That's yeah, clever. Yeah. Let, let's get down to it. I am. I'm moving down. I'm moving down, guys. Um, if you're disappointed with the link to one try and play, yeah, it'd be awful now. Awful, but worth good money. Pete thought those water games were awesome. They were, were awful. They I were. Mean, they were crap. Them. They were fine for about two seconds, and then that's it. Game over, isn't it? Stephen Mills got a 2001 Space Odyssey poster with Harrison Ford. Ems Den said, Paul had a Ford Capri laser. Which, yeah, Ford Capri. We had a Ford Capri in our family. I think like my granddad like had one or something. But, yeah, they're well, great cars. Nice Life said, uh, he's off. He's off on YouTube adventures to North Wales soon. Oh, you have to give us a shout, Richard. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to get a GameCube Japanese version. Um, Tap Pedal listed a JVC eight track player recorder, hundred quid. There you go for an eight track player recorder. Yeah, I do like. And Jay says some records are still recorded. Okay. Uh, eight tracks are better than four tracks. Um, let's try and get down. Boglins were awesome. They were, Dave, definitely. Uh, Once Love says, it's amazing how hard old console games are now. Even with just two buttons and simple controls, they're harder than most of the current gen games. Well, I'll, I'll agree to disagree on that because I've... Chris managed to get me the new Harry Potter game that I've been wanting, but this is the first time I've like been on a console for years, many, many years, there's way too many buttons. I could not. I was doing the. I was doing the two-year-old thing and just going like this and pressing everything. There's too and many, hoping, isn't there? And hoping. And Chris was literally sat next to me. I'm going, which is L four? Three. What? What? Which, you've got to press that and this. I'm like, I don't know which one's the end. He's going. There's one at the back. There's one at the front. There's one at the side. So I actually haven't been back on it purely because I was getting annoyed. Well, you best go back on it. I, I bought that as a pro as a present. The game itself, I actually liked the game. The game itself was all right. But I was getting really frustrated because I couldn't work the buttons out. There's just too many. There's just it, There was unnecessarily that many buttons on a on a controller. Um, Ems Den says 44. Yeah, I know. I gave it away, didn't I? <laughs> I look 44 tonight. I'm so tired. Um Space 1999 Eagle Transporter, says Leanne L Lenny's Attic. Oh, Once Love says the Hogwarts game is great. You'll enjoy it once you get used to the controls. I am going to give it another go. I am going to give it another go. Steel Wolf says Tommy Super Cup Electronic. Yeah, I've got one of them in the cupboard, Steel Wolf. Uh, I've got one in the cupboard to list. Um, all right, I'm getting down now. We're catching up. We've gone through 10 minutes worth there in just a couple of minutes. Um, Neil J has got a good one here. So wish I still had the Coca Cola yo yos and the Sprite one. <laughs> they were great, those. They used to have, I remember they used to have meetups at, uh, at Woolworths in Stockport. Do you remember this, Neil? Uh, there used to be like meetups where you'd all bring your yo yos and you'd, I never went because I was useless at it. I couldn't even do walk the dog. And 
you, people used to crowd up there at Woolworths and do all the tricks and stuff. That's it for today's episode of the Everything Reselling Podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, to follow or to subscribe wherever you're watching or listening to this podcast. And we'll see you on the next episode.